Hi, I'm Chris and in this tutorial I want to go over the basics of the Morpher tool. Now what the Morpher tool does is it will morph your shape from one shape into another, like so. And it does this by moving the vertices to mimic the vertices from another object. So in this one that I set up I've got a blue box which first morphs to represent the top vertices on the red box then the bottom vertices on the yellow box whilst maintaining the morph of the vertices from the red box. If we start a new scene, so if I'll new, no I don't, and we want new all. In your perspective viewport draw a box like so okay and give it a name we'll call it purple box now because the morpher tool works by moving vertices it's very important that the objects you are morphing to have the same number of vertices as the object that you're actually morphing so for this reason I recommend modeling your base model in our case this box and then cloning out additional boxes and editing the vertices on the additional boxes so here we have a box and for the purpose of this tutorial it has one length seg one width seg and two height segments okay now because we want access to the vertices to move them we're going to convert this to an editable poly and what we're going to do is we are going to clone it up we're going to call this one green box and we want a copy not an instance or a reference so move that up and let's make it green and again we want another clone and we will call this one blue box okay move it out make it blue okay now first thing we want to do is change the shape of these boxes into the shape that we want them into so first off with our green box select what we're going to do is we're going to select all of the vertices at the top go to the resize tool and just drag them in and then exit the vertice mode and on our blue box we want to do the same but with the bottom vertices and drag those in that'll do okay now for the morphing as I mentioned the morpher tool is a modifier so we want to go to the modifier panel on the top right over here drop down and in the drop down list you'll find morpher and it gives us a load of options here now the ones we're going to be using in this basics tutorial are these empty boxes up here this pick from object and something a little further down which I'll go through in a moment with you now these are where we put the shapes that we are going to morph to so we've got two boxes so we're going to be using the top two here so with the top box selected where it says empty come down here on the right to where it says pick object from scene click on it and click on our box and now we can see in channel 1 we have green box and there's a little green light appeared up here just to tell us that there is something in that slot and that slot is active same for slot 2 select slot 2 pick object from scene and pick the blue box we now have two active channels and you can see we have blue box and green box now these numbers here on the right are a percentage so for the one that says green box here we're currently at 0% therefore this box that we're working with is mimicking 0% of the green box if we move this up up to 100 it is now 100% mimicking 
the moved vertices on this box. We take that back down. Same for blue box here. If we go from 0 up to 100, it is now mimicking 100% of the moved vertices in that box. If we put both the blue box and the green box at 100%, it is now mimicking the moved vertices on the green box and the blue box to give us this new shape here. So let's put those back to zero. Now to keyframe these, we need to turn on Auto key and our screen goes red. With our box selected, go to frame 20. And up here, we're just gonna put green box up to 100%. You'll see our little arrows now have red selection bracket around them to tell us that they are animated. If we slide back and forward between 0 and 20, you can now see our morph is now animated. And if we look up in the top right, you can see the number changing as we go through the keyframes. Now, if we wanted the bottom vertices to be animated by frame 40 just here, if we came along here, and put this up to 100% at frame 40. We can see a keyframe has been added in here. Now, because the blue box wasn't animated when we did this one at frame 20, what Max has done for us is it has put a keyframe here at 40, where this is 100% matching these bottom vertices here. But it has also put a keyframe in at 0, where this was at 0 not at 20 so as you can see it goes slower than the top one but if we wanted the blue box animation to start after the green box animation we would need to put in a keyframe at 20 so what we'll do is we'll come up to here and we'll just put 0 in there hit return now it's at 0 at 20 and it's also at 0 at frame 0 we run our time up to 20, you see the top animation occurs and then the bottom animation occurs. Turning off auto key just quickly and I'm going to delete these keys. I want to just show you one other factor. If when we selected our boxes, I'll show you on an empty box here, where we wanted to pick the blue box we clicked pick objects from same but we accidentally picked the green box when we run that animation we can see it's moving the top vertices and we didn't want that we wanted to move the bottom vertices if we went to pick objects from scene again and picked the correct object you see that what it does now is it moves the vertices at the top right up until 50 and then at 50 then it moves the bottom vertices whilst returning the top vertices to the original position from 100. The reason for this is we have loaded multiple targets from this and you'll see here it still says green box. We come down here just a little bit. Here is our targets. Now you can see it's got two targets here. It's telling us that the green box will be fully morphed here at 50% and the blue box at 100%. You simply come down here, highlight the green box and delete target. And now back up here we can see it only affects the bottom vertices which is what we wanted from 0 to 100%. Okay, thank you.